Bosworth Hall Hotel was originally built in the 17th century as a stately home for the Dixie family, but in 1931 it was taken on by Leicester County Council as a hospital. In the 1980s it was converted into a hotel by Britannia Hotels and it enjoyed a prosperous period, but with recession biting it's become a much lower grade hotel, accommodating coach tour parties and short break guests, who can pay as little as £30 per night for bed, breakfast and evening meal. We stayed for a four-night break in mid-August 2014 in a standard room with ensuite bathroom for a total cost of £120 per person, including buffet breakfast and buffet evening meal. The room we had was clean and tidy, although the decor was tired. The mattress was lumpy, but otherwise we were fine. The buffet breakfast was OK with ample supplies of hot food. The dinner buffet was variable in quality, although on each of the nights we found something worth eating. But don't expect fine dining included in your cost. It's much more like cafeteria food, not up to the standard of good pub or pub carvery meals. For us, the keynote of this hotel is that it's situated in an area with some fascinating places to visit although we found these surprisingly quiet even in the school holidays. Around 40 minutes drive took us to the National Memorial Arboretum in Staffordshire between Tamworth and Burton-on-Trent. The Royal British Legion project was given a reclaimed quarry and is gradually developing it into a centre to commemorate the tens of thousands of service people who have died while serving our country over the years. The central wall of the park is where all of the names of those who have died since the Second World War are listed, and although the world may have nominally been at peace, thousands of British military personnel have died in smaller conflicts and while keeping the peace. It's a very worthwhile place to visit. The nearby small town of Tamworth has a useful town centre with plenty of shops and there's also an attractive castle keep set in a park that was the Bailey. On a sunny afternoon there's plenty of life and activity in town. A little closer to Bosworth the Moira Furnace takes us back to the start of the Industrial Revolution when blast furnace technology was being evolved. And this furnace and its related bridge house date back to the 1800s. The whole area was once an industrial site, complete with a canal branch to supply raw materials and take away finished products, but it's now a country park. The bridge house contains a small but interesting museum and if you're lucky enough you'll meet one of the museum's keen volunteers, like the lady who talked us through the site with well-informed enthusiasm. And to round this particular visit off, we were lucky enough to see a powered hang glider coming in for a landing. Now that looks like a tricky job. From Moira we went on to Ashby de la Zouche, another small town, this time with a small but very well worth tracking down museum, actually in the town's library. It gives a comprehensive rundown on the town and surrounding lands history, and with a concessionary price of just 50 pence, we thought it was a bargain. About 16 miles from Market Bosworth, there's been a church on this site at Breeden on the Hill since a monastery was founded back in the 7th century. Today's church is a Grade 1 listed building and has a lot of historic interest, especially some 9th century carvings in the church itself and four saints are said to be buried on the site. 
During our visit, we really liked the perms and epitaphs on some of the 19th century slate gravestones. They certainly gave us a smile or two and added a nice touch of funereal humour to our morning. A kinder mother never lived, a better wife that never died. Her honest heart no one deceived, her humble spirit knew no pride. Loved while on earth, in heaven forever blessed. Just two more places to visit, much closer to the hotel. Just a couple of miles away you can get a cuppa, a snack or a meal at the Sutton Wharf Cafe Bar beside the cut at Sutton Cheney. The Ashby Canal is a relatively quiet waterway but there's just enough activity to keep it interesting. Four or five miles away you can have a completely different kind of experience at Mallory Park Racetrack. It has a motorbike track day on Friday free to go and watch and a car testing session combined with a motorbike track day on Wednesday. From our point of view it made a very exciting end to an enjoyable four night break. We recommend this area for a break and there are many other kinds of accommodation available if you're looking for a different experience and don't mind paying somewhat more than we paid. Here's my personal take on Britannia Hotels and on the Bosworth Hall Hotel in particular. And that's the end of our four night stay at the Bosworth Hall Hotel owned by Britannia Hotels. The actual four night stay, bed, breakfast and evening meal cost us just around £120 each for the four nights. That works out at £30 per person per night. Now, one of the things that I get a little bit jarred off about reading on things like TripAdvisor and so on for places like Britannia Hotels is that there are lots of complaints about standards of service and standards of meals. But in reality, when you're paying £30 a night for half board in the UK, my goodness, what do you expect? The meals can be a bit hit and miss, especially for the evening meal. Breakfast is uniformly reasonable, not exceptional, but reasonable. Evening meals are a little bit more hit and miss, and sometimes you can have an evening where there's nothing much you fancy. Um, and that's one of those things that happens. But in reality, I think both Dot and I are quite big fans of Britannia Hotels because their little packages enable us to get away for short breaks and midweek breaks at remarkably low costs and take us to parts of the country that we wouldn't otherwise go to.